Yo, what is going on guys? It is your boy Supermore here and I'm back as you guys for a brand new video on the channel. As you guys know about a top video, in this video I'll be teaching you guys how to make an end screen for your YouTube videos or an outro for your YouTube videos. So if you guys have enjoyed the video and if this video does help you guys out to make an end screen for yourself, make sure to drop a like on this video, subscribe to your channel, and if you guys have not already, make sure to hit that subscribe button because I'm going to be posting two, two, three times a week for you guys. So make sure to hit that subscribe button and make sure to hit the bell notification so you guys can be notified whenever I upload a new video so guys with that being said and done let's just begin the video all right guys what you guys want to do is you guys want to go to pixar.com i have a link in the description down below to make your outro slash end screen so what you guys want to do is you guys, once you get to pixar.com click on create a new image and then go on presets go all the way down to movie 1080p and then make sure the transparent box is checked and once it's checked click on ok and it'll bring you up to this page over here and basically in the uh, in the description down below i have a link to download an end screen template if you guys want to use it use it so what you guys want to do if you if you, when you guys have it downloaded click on file click on open image and get my end um not my end screen get, just get the end screen template and click on open and then now once it gets over here click on control a control c to copy and then exit out of here and then click on control v to paste and then now this is basically your end screen and this is basically where uh, it will just show you where your end screen is basically now and now what you guys want to do is you guys want if you guys want to add a background to this go to google and search up grunge background and pick any of these grunge backgrounds you guys want pick any of these you guys would want i already picked mine so once you have yours picked go on uh, pixeler click on file open image and then click on your grunge background that you picked and the same thing for this Control a Control C to copy and then exit out of here. Just exit out of here. But no. Control V to paste. And now it's gonna show this like uh, it's gonna your end screen template will like go away basically. So what you guys would want to do is you guys want to go on the opacity by the layer tool. Put the opacity about to like around. Uh, it should be fine if you guys put it around like 50 or like if you guys yeah it should be fine around like. 50 or 55 I mean I recommend you guys just put it on 50 or like 45 uh, not a 500 just put it on 45 or like 50 I'm just gonna put it on 50 for now and now what you guys want to do is you guys want to go on your move tool and now what you guys want to do is you guys want to add a new layer and then now go on the drawing tool right over here and then go on the border size put it all the way up to 15 and then uncheck fill shape and then make sure the circle is selected so you guys could trace this object and then go on the color pick any color you want for me i'm just gonna pick white so i'm just gonna go over here and i'm gonna go ahead and pick white and then i'm gonna click ok and once you have your color pick make sure to just draw the circle right over here i mean it takes a few tries to get it like perfect but you don't need to get it that much perfect it will look good like like that so like I said, uncheck fill shape. If you didn't do that, just click undo. Make sure to have uncheck fill shape. If you don't uncheck that, it will be it'll turn out very bad. And have it on white. Click on OK. Just click on here. And then make sure to like it's on white. Click on OK. And then now go back to your drawing tool. Click circle. And then now basically just draw your circle. Add another new layer. And now go back to the drawing tool right over here and then draw these rectangles. Make sure the rectangle is set to the rectangle tool. And like I said, put the border size to 15, uncheck fill shape, put the color to white. So go all the way up over up here and then put it to white. All the way white and then click on OK. And then now what you guys want to do is you guys want to draw your rectangle. So just draw this. It doesn't really have to be that perfect. Good, that is good. That looks just like the other one. That I have over there. That looks just like the other one. Yeah, once you have that done, go on the move tool again. And basically that's all that's all you guys have to do. But I'm not really that's all you had to you guys have to do. Like you guys you guys could add like Twitter background, Facebook background. So what you guys wanna do and you wanna add that, go to new tab, search up like Instagram, PNG or something like that. Now once you have that done, go back to layer five, click on file, click on open image, and then open up the open up the things that you just saved so basically i saved my twitter logo i'm first gonna open my instagram logo and once it comes over here like again no control a to copy and the control a to like select all control c to copy i mean 
and then exit out of here, click on no, and then click control V to place. And now as you guys can see, this is like way too big, so just click on free transform and then just just adjust it from there. And now I'm gonna, I'm gonna open up my Twitter logo as you guys know. So my Twitter logo right there, I'm gonna open it up, same thing, control A, control C to copy, and then exit out of here, click on no no and then click on control read a page lastly you open up your facebook if you have a facebook logo open up your facebook logo and once you're here control a to uh control a to select all control c to copy and then exit out of here click on no and then control read a page so control uh, control read a page and so that's all that's all you have to uh, guys have to do and now if you want to add any t um, text go on the text tool like put in your instagram so put in like your name so put um i'm just gonna put my name supermo Put my name if you guys want to and then you guys could go on the text tool and down here you guys could just put like thanks for watching or whatever leave a like or leave a like if you enjoyed the video but i'm just gonna put thanks go to quality all the way up all the way up working click on okay and it'll say where do you save it just put like outro slash end screen if you guys have enjoyed, enjoyed this video and if this video did help you guys out make sure to drop a like on this video subscribe to your channel and if you guys have not already comment down below uh what other type of videos i should do in the future and guys it has been your boy super here i'll catch you guys in my another video but until then guys peace out